Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Dabwan is to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to let me out there doing this work of faith and labor with love, truth, and sincerity. And, um, you know, uh, pretty much I just wanted to touch on a real quick topic. You know, uh, you know, a couple of scriptures just came across my mind, you know, uh, in the midst of, uh, you know, everything that's been going on, you know, uh, with these false doctrines, you know, that's been pushed, um, you know, men not reverencing, you know, uh, the men that taught them and things of that nature. So, you know, through the spirit, you know, I just thought I'd uh, get into this, you know, for brothers and, um, you know, Lord willing, you know, um, this be a humbling lesson, you know, for brothers, even myself. And, uh, you know, Lord willing, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai is edifying. All right, so um, this is uh, Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Right, and you know, the point of you know this scripture is the fact that what you know the lord want us to obey those that are over us you know because they watch for our souls and they must give account unto yahweh shai you know for the teachings and for them god and his nation man you know the apostles and elders of great millstone they have a heavy heavy responsibility given unto them by yahweh shai and holding up the church man and, and, and being the head figures of of his of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's government, man, you know, that's a very, very big responsibility, man. And you know, as us being younger brothers in in this truth, we have to be mindful of these things, you know. This truth is 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 bigger than ourselves. We doing it for our salvation, you know, but it's, it's bigger than us, man. You have to think about all different aspects that come into play with being in this truth. And you have to think about the man that's next to you. You have to think about the man that you're serving. Think about the wear and tear that you could be putting on him by you not being respectful, by you not being obedient, man. You know, you know, uh, I believe to, uh, Apostle Zahar said, you know, in a live stream, you know, that he, uh, you know, did by himself. You know, he was saying that, you know, somebody was saying like how he got stress in his voice, you know, and stuff like that, you know, and you know, when we look at, you know, the apostles and elders, you know, we look at them with great reverence, you know, but sometimes brothers may think, you know, that they don't really go through anything, man. But, you know, in essence, they're going through it way more than, than we ever could because they have to deal with the burdens of the nation of the elect, man, you know, because in my spirit, I believe that the Lord has set them up to be, you know, the in, in charge of the men that's potentially the elect you know so that's a heavy heavy responsibility upon them man and, you know and and to hard mention it that you know that he stressed you know the passover season you know they're not doing a big uh um, passover this year you know appointing brothers and setting brothers up to be able to do their own passover so we all can be leaders you know they have to make sure that things and establishing things are right that make sure that brothers are doing it in the correct manner you know throughout the different camps that's a big responsibility and the passover is the biggest holy day in which we have so they have to make sure that those things is established for us man so they go out of their way you know to show their work of faith and labor of love for us younger brothers and for your how about and you have to take account of that and you have to be appreciative of that man because they are our spiritual fathers man you know and real quick i want to get into this word account because as it says what they must give account you know, uh, for our souls, you know, so, uh, the word here they have, uh, here in the Greek is, uh, logos, you know, um, they have a bunch of different, uh, definitions here, but, you know, I want to get to what, you know, that really means, you know, so I'm going to skip, uh, a lot of this, all right, so, they to get down to the point, you know, uh, says here, account, i.e., answer or explanation in reference to judgment man so you know with the things through the spirit of Yahweh that they teach unto brothers the wisdom that they give unto brothers 
you know, the judgments that they set forth, you know, down, down the line through the chain of command. You know, at the end of the day, we all have to be before that judgment seat of the Most High, and we all have to answer for the things in which we've done in our flesh, you know. And the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, they have to answer for everything, you know, that they've displayed unto us younger brothers, unto Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man. Think how heavy that is, man. You know, and f and for brothers that may be, you know, leaders of a camp. You know, or a leader of a camp. Think of how much responsibility that you have upon you, man. Being a leader or leaders of a camp, that, that's a heavy responsibility. How much more the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that are in charge of the most high's elect, man. You know? So brothers have to be have to be mindful of, of these things, man. You know? You know, because they they the apostles they have it. And the things that they've been through through their experience, they set the foundation up through the Lord for us already. So we have the examples of what to do, what not to do, you know. And all we have to do is follow the program, man, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is set up, you know. So I'm going to read this again. It says, Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they must give account that they make do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you so if they have to watch over our souls you know with grief it is unprofitable unto us now why is that because you're not giving you know your, your parents that reverence because that's one of the ten commandments man to honor your father and mother man so if you're causing your father or your spiritual father's grief that's not um that's unprofitable unto you and the most high is displeased with that man we have to be mindful of always doing the things that please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man you know we have to be mindful of that pleasing the apostles and elders of great millstone and in, in, in righteousness that's that's pleasing or appeasing the most high man Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and if, and if brothers just stick to those core principles and just follow the program you won't have so much trouble. We won't have so much trouble, man. You know? But you got these guys pushing these false doctrines, man. You know, trying to force things that's just not so, man. You know? All we got to do is stick to the script and follow the program. That's it, man. You know? And this is um, uh, Sirach chapter 4, verse 26. It says, Be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river. So, you know, these guys pushing this flat earth stuff. You know, they're trying to force the course of the river, man. You know? It's like you got a uh you trying to put a puzzle together and you know that this one piece don't fit to the other piece of the puzzle, but you want to just try to jam it in there anyway. Cause this is the way that you wanted to go, but it's not really going, man. You know? And that's what these guys are doing with, with these this false doctrine stuff, man. You're trying to put things into the you're trying to add into the scriptures what's not supposed to be there, man. You know? Therefore, the Most High sets you out as examples and to be mocked and to be ridiculed, man. For us real men of the Lord, for us real brothers and respectful and humble brothers to learn, man. You know? We have we have to pay attention to these things, man. It's that every step that we take within this truth, all we have is moments. And the moment that you make the wrong move, that could be your last move in this truth, man. You know? So all we have is moments. So you can't take not one moment in this truth for granted, man. You know, so this is uh, Sirach chapter 3, verse 7. He that feareth the Lord will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Okay, by what? Obeying them that have the rule over us. All right. Verse 8, it says, honor thy father and mother both in word and deed. Okay, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. And, you know, you got to know that, you know, all of us brothers, you know, well, young brothers as us, you know, we should be praying for other brothers. We should be putting up, you know, prayers for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And, you know, and I believe that they do the same thing for us. So what the scriptures say, what? Honor thy father and mother and word and deed that a blessing may come upon thee from them. So if you're giving honor and you're giving reverence unto them and you're doing what you have to do, being diligent within the spirit, you know, Yahweh Shah is going to recognize that, you know. 
and you know, and through the spirit, you know, you'll have the apostles and elders, you know, uh, pouring blessings upon you that you don't even know about, man. You know, think about that, man. You know, I remember, uh, you know, Apostle Taharna mentioning, you know, uh, in the Breaking Strongs a long while ago, how, you know, they used to uh, go in the buildings and, and exercise demons up out of them buildings, man. So if the Lord give them power like that, how much more power can the Lord give them if they, if they, uh, uh, you know, put a blessing upon us, man? Or they say prayers for brothers, man. How much more would you have about Shemiah Rashad? Bless us for that, man. You know, you got to think about these things, man. And and not just looking at them. They are men, but they are holy men, man. Holy, consecrated, separate unto the Lord, man. That the Lord has sanctified unto himself, man. You know? But guys, don't look at it like that, man. All right, this is uh, verse 9. For the blessing of the Father establishes establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. So what the blessing of the father establishes the houses of the children, man. So each of us, brother, what? We are a building. We are a temple of the Most High. So with the apostles, you know, putting blessings upon brothers, that establishes each and every brother with the, helps to establish each and every brother within this truth. It helps to affirm your growth. It helps for the most out of pour more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding upon you, man. You know, by you paying attention to the things that they tell us and taking heed and, and using wisdom to have the discernment to what to deal with, what not to deal with, what boundaries you are to, to uh, uh, deal with and what boundaries are you not to cross, man. You know, and going through things through the proper channels, man. All right. So this is uh, verse 10. It says, glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. Okay. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. So what the glory of a man is from the honor of his father. So when we honor our apostles and elders of great millstone, we giving glory and we gave an honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So in turn, the most high will pour that glory right, right upon us, man. Right back upon us in return for that, man. You know? So we have to do our due diligence to do our service and to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, that that's our whole duty is to serve the Lord, to keep the commandments and, and love one another, man. What? Not just in word, but in deed, man. Because your actions speak louder than words. Your actions proves your love, man. You know, like what proves our faith? The fact that we go out there and we do works, man. So how do we prove our love? We prove our love to the Lord. We prove our love for the brotherhood by obeying those that have the rule over us, man. It's simple, man. You know, but you got guys that make the truth harder than what it should be, man. When the foundation is already laid for us, you know. So I got this last scripture. Before I end this, all right? This is uh, Tobit chapter 4, verse 21. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor. For thou hast much wealth, if thou fear the Mosai. And depart from all sin, and do that which is pleasing in his sight. So, what we know that we're poor this world, but we're rich in faith. You know? And we'll be rich in the kingdom if what we only had to fear the most high and do what's right and do which is pleasing in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. By giving our spiritual fathers that reverence, man. You know? I mean, you know, like uh, uh, Apostle Gabar, you know, uh, just recently said in his last lesson, you know, that the prophecies have to be fulfilled. So with these guys falling out and doing the things that they're doing, it's only fulfilling prophecy, man. But, you know, for the sincere brothers out there, for the humble and respectful brothers, we have to be mindful of that because you never know, you know, how, to, how to, the, the spirit may work and we could wind up in in that situation. And we don't want that to happen, man. So the best thing is just to stay humble and lowly and constantly pray to the Most High, get help by Shema Shah for guidance and for constantly pouring the spirit upon us and having mercy upon us so that we don't end up like that. And he have mercy on us in the end, man, you know. So with that, man, you know, um, it just was, you know, something, you know, quick and off the spirit. So, you know, I hope this was uh, edifying. You know, and i like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to Lekman out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom and death to America.